In the previous lesson, you learned about the three building blocks of matter, the three basic units that make up all of the substances around us. In this lesson, we're going to start by reviewing those three basic building blocks because they are so important for us to understand matter, but that's not the main focus of this lesson. This lesson is all about understanding two broad categories into which we place all matter we observe in the created universe. Those two categories are pure substances and mixed matter. This lesson is about understanding those two categories based on the building blocks of matter. So let's start by reviewing those three basic building blocks. And remember, the first most basic building block of all is the atom, which is the fundamental unit of matter, which means that it is the smallest piece of a substance that is still that same elemental substance. For example, the smallest piece of argon is this argon atom that I have pictured here. If you were to somehow break this atom down any further, you split the atom apart, it's no longer argon. It would change into a different kind of atom. That's why we say that atoms are the smallest fundamental unit of matter. A molecule is a group of atoms bonded together, like this triclosan molecule. Now, triclosan is a pretty complicated molecule. It is used in antibacterial hand soaps as an antibacterial agent. Uh, it's become a source of criticism lately because people are concerned that overuse of this molecule may cause bacteria to become resistant to triclosan and maybe to other antibacterial agents as well. So this molecule, this group of atoms bonded together is something that is newsworthy and maybe something we should reconsider using. And then finally, a crystal is a repeated pattern of atoms or molecules or atoms and molecules all bonded together in a crystal lattice network. This is niobium oxide, a substance that's probably used in your cell phone in tiny little devices called capacitors. Niobium oxide, this crystal, is really great at holding an electric charge that can be released when a circuit chip tells it to release that electric charge. So all of these different building blocks are very useful in their own ways, and these are the substances that make up all of the matter around us. But then how do we get from these building blocks to pure substances and mixed matter? Well, in order to understand pure substances and mixed matter, you have to understand the building blocks because here's how this works. A pure substance is a substance that's made up entirely of just one type of building block. That means it's made up entirely of one kind of atom, one kind of molecule, or one kind of crystal. Here's an example. This is elemental sulfur. Notice that there's only one type of atom, that those atoms are actually bonded together into one type of molecule in this case. And because it's one type of molecule, that makes it a pure substance, but this goes even further, those molecules are bonded together in one single crystal network. So you can see that by any criteria, this sulfur is a pure substance. It's made up of one kind of atom, there's only one kind of molecule, and it's one crystal. Let's look at another example that's maybe not so clearly a pure substance. This is a mineral called halite, and it's actually made up of the same atoms as table salt is made up of, sodium and chlorine. Now, notice that those sodium atoms and chlorine atoms, the sodiums are purple and the chlorines are green, they're bonded together in one repeating crystal network, one same repeating crystal network throughout, that makes this sodium chloride crystal a pure substance because it's just one type of crystal, one type of building block. Let's look at another example. Here we have water. Water is a pure substance because it's made up of just one type of molecule. 
even though there's two different types of atoms in those molecules, there's hydrogens and there's oxygens, it's just one type of molecule. Each molecule is bonded the exact same way. Every building block of this substance is a water molecule. It's the same molecule that makes this a pure substance. So anytime you have matter that's made up of just one type of building block, be it the same kind of atom, the same kind of molecule, or the same kind of crystal throughout, that makes it a pure substance. So then what is mixed matter? Mixed matter is a substance that's made up of different types of unbonded atoms, molecules, and crystals. It's more than one building block in the same place. An example of that would be if we mix together all three of the substances I just talked about. And that actually does happen in real life. The way that we mine sulfur from underground is we pump in hot water that's hot enough to melt the sulfur by breaking apart that crystal so those sulfur molecules start sliding past one another. This sulfur is often found in salt domes where there's a lot of halite crystals, those sodium chloride crystals, around where the sulfur is. And by pumping in the hot water and melting the, just the sulfur, we can remove the sulfur from the salt dome and purify it so that we have pure sulfur coming out. But in order to do that, we have to mix all of these substances together in the same place. Because I have different building blocks here in the same place, I have crystals of sulfur molecules, I have sodium chloride crystals, and I have water molecules, different substances, different building blocks in the same place, this is mixed matter. But this is a really obvious example of mixed matter because I have my water in one place, my sulfur in another, and my sodium chloride crystal in another. Sometimes it's not so obvious. Like when the water mixes with the sulfur and they get all interspersed together. So the sulfur is in the water, but notice that there are still two different building blocks, sulfur molecules and water molecules, and they are not connected in a repeating pattern by any kind of bonded crystal lattice. They are unbonded. That makes this mixed matter because there's more than one type of building block. In this case, we have sulfur molecules and water molecules, which are different building blocks of matter. So that's what the difference is between pure substances and mixed matter. A pure substance is made up entirely of one kind of building block. Mixed matter is made up of more than one building block in the same area.